Yo, Shalom. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai by some Rakak with Dash. Double honors to the apostles, great millstone. That's our teachers, elders. This is the homeless people news. Like that. <laughs> right, 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 right. You want this on here or something? Oh, no, I'm not paying attention. This is so much shit happening. So much shit coming oh, down. Hurry up. But these people literally came to see it, man. You, you see that bombing in Sri Lanka? Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm saying. Yeah, like 200 I need you people. To faster. Yeah. The Bible, the Bible mentions how the Most High is going to send examples little of little. He uses little no, by little. Little, you know, little here, little there. These examples, and those examples are just the church. These people with the false doctrine just getting destroyed, man. Yeah, it, was, it, it was Muslims killing Christians, right? Muslims, yep, yep, sure the fuck is. And another thing, the only reason why I say that because the Spirit is maintained so The church of, um, that church that could Notre Dame. Notre Dame, there you go. There you go. They don't like winter. The most high, it's the spirit of the most high. It's shutting down falsehood, man. It's fall, he's shutting down all the motherfucking lies. Man. Now, the, the French people, they bought a riot because all kind of people donated like over a billion dollars oh. to repair it. And they're like, fuck that building. We're hungry out here. We, we need to give us they that money. To, yeah, they about to clown. They about to clown on that. All that fucking money for that bullshit. They Probably broke their neck. Building. Right, they broke their neck to save that relic of it. It's supposed to be the... The, the, um, the thorns they put around yeah. the door's head, man. Got it fucking uh, in gold. They got it dipped in gold and shit. Man. Crazy, man. Shit, probably fake. They're fucking relic. I won't doubt it, though. But they do got the real relic somewhere. Yeah, yeah of course they do. Then they, they grab the roll. Then they grab uh, I mean, the nails of the cross. Yeah, yeah. They even had uh, a lot of churches had, uh, they said, uh, Mark, the Apostle Mark, I guess you call him an Apostle. They said they had his head up in, uh, where is that, in fucking, uh, in Venice. One of the churches in Venice. Wow. And he was the patron saint of Venice. Right, right. But they would have, you know, they would bat, they'd go to war with relics. They said the relics would give them power. Relic. And here's a what? Uh, something from a some religious figure? Yeah, there's something they consider holy. Right. You know, yeah, right. something. From the pack, from the apostles, a body part, or a body part, or uh, something else, you know, like yeah. the thorns. Fucking relic. Yeah. So back in the old days, like you're the prestige of this church, like your church won't consider prestigious unless your ass had a relic. It's crazy. That's fucking. And that's crazy. just all. You know what I mean? They do think like that. What is that with George Bush going to college? Yet? They got the actual yeah. school of Geronimo. Of a Yale. Actual fucking Geronimo school. and Ch uh, a bunch of people. Che Guevara skulls in there, they say. <laughs> they say they drink uh, wine up out the, out the skulls. Just see the, the politicians in the bank is bringing this place down. And it's just so 
the devil's even rising up against the devil. Who's fighting? Because the Iran is threatening to close the street. Uh, they've been threatening that. Yeah, that's going to happen. They need it though. Yeah, that's going to happen though. That'd be a war right there. Here we that, go. That's one of the biggest uh, ports in the world. Here we go. It's two. No waivers. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, waivers. 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 No more waivers. The United States will try to force Iranian oil exports to fucking zero. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon became a desolation among the nations? Like, like, like you said, America trying to take over and shit, and you know, pretty much like acting like they the boss. They the hammer of the earth. And whatever say, whatever they say, it go pretty much. And it says, how is the hammer of the earth uh, be, uh, broken and asunder? You know what I'm saying? All these nations are gonna gather together and attack this place. That's how it's gonna happen. Girl, girl. And they claim this is the land of justice and liberty. <laughs> Fucking freedom and equality. Yeah. It's crazy because I, I was talking to these niggas at work. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling them like, you know, these nations like like South America shit, they fucked up because of America. They ain't fucked up just because, you know what I'm saying? But they don't know it's, it's their fault. But no, America went down there and fucked people, uh, do coups and sanctions, yeah. all this other crazy shit. That's what shit. they do. They sit in, uh, they're called uh, economic hitmen. Look economic what they did to man. Iraq. They turned Iraq into a pile of fucking rubble. Yeah. These are gonna let this shit happen. For Ever and ever. Now. Yeah, I know they're gonna, gonna do something about it. They're all right. They're all right. They're all right. That's what we're crossing for. That's what we're crossing something about. Those nations rising up. Um, Like we getting them scriptures, patient. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened to uh, Rome. That's how. That's one of the reasons why Rome fell because they was too goddamn spread out, taking too much land and shit. Oh, they've been saying America's too stressful. Man, you get on the internet and you do a search on uh, how many you just type in how many uh, U.S. military bases are there, and they'll show you a map of all the military bases the United States has around the world. They got a damn base in damn near every country. I mean, they got bases all through Japan, you know, since after World War II. They pretty much conquered Japan, all through Japan. I mean, you name a country except for Russia and China, you know what I mean? Iran, they got some bases over there. Yep, yep, they're planning to get in there too. That's what it is. You don't see Russia having bases all over the world. That's one of the points uh, Jimmy Carter was raising, how China and Russia ain't. They don't do that. Right. But I thought Russia was the bad guy. Right. You know what I mean? They try, they always talk, oh, Russian collusion. Oh, why is Russia the big enemy? Hey, because Russia got them nukes, that's why. Cause we, they, uh, these devils, they know Russia gonna shoot them missiles on America. They, they know that's gonna happen. That's what they're afraid of. But they can't stop the missiles. Can't stop the missiles. <laughs> oh, shit. Cause you know, people try to talk about Russia, they think it's some kind of backwater, like some, Run down country. 
Bro, they got some of the best technology in the world. Here we go. Here we go. Satan in your phone? Yes. Oh. Here we go. Habakkuk 2 and 6. Should not all these take up a parable against him and a tawny proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. You know, and, that, and that's one thing about uh, their race that America was the number one oil producer because it went around and stole it all. You yep. know, and then placed its military there to protect the shit. Same example they're doing with the opium fields in fucking uh, Afghanistan, man. They Use the military to protect their investment. They're in man. Afghanistan for opium right. and lithium. So they, that's where all the all the shit for our batteries and the phones and computers and laptops. Yeah, the precious metals. The rare, uh, what do they call the rare earth minerals. Right. And that's one of the big reasons why they want to go into North Korea. They say North Korea has some of the uh, some of the best rare earth minerals on the planet. Yeah, they're in, they're in Africa too. They're, they're sitting there in Africa. Africa, Africa. Africa's so vast. Vast. Africa, or East Africa, they. They, uh, they joined the coal. They made a new coalition like the United States. I seen that, yeah. Some like the yeah. United States. Some like the United States of Africa. They Something built, like that. They, Some they, shit like they that. built in Africa up right yeah, They're going to they fight back. They're going to fight back. You see the Sudanese. It's all kind of. Yeah, that shit is the state of the Yeah. All because of America. It says, Woe to him that increased that which is not his. How low? And to him that laden himself with thick clay, you know, shit, to have these motherfucking military folks, they gotta print up them, uh, them fit that fake ass monopoly money, man, and keep it rolling, man. And with faking and printing all that fake ass monopoly money, that's building up and more, and more debt. And you see, most people don't even use cash no more. They don't even use paper, bro. Everybody's money, almost. At, when I go to the store, I'm like one of the only people I see using cash. Yeah, me too. You know what I mean? Hey, Everybody hey, using a car. Hey, Columbus Airport just released That's this That's called the safer than the car that's going to carry cash. It is? Yeah, they can rob you for cash. They can't rob you for the car. They get rob you for that Yeah, but yeah, soon yeah. they're going to uh, put microchips in everybody. Here you go. And all, all your money's going to... The the yeah, yeah, that's right. So that, 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 so they want you to give you that safety. So, so they can get you, entice you with that microchip. Like, oh, it's gonna be safe. You ain't not gonna be able to rob you no more. Right. You know right. what I mean? Right. It's gonna be safe. And that's what I was about to say about the Columbus Airport. Their tech, they advance, they, they pushing the technology. They, that's their main thing, pushing that technology so that people that don't have IDs, don't have credit cards, can still have access to the fucking airplane. What is that talking about, man? Yeah. What is that talking about? You see, they about to make everybody get, <laughs> years ago, they had something called the, uh, What's that, the smart ID, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, the, right, what, right, what's it called? Right, right. 10 years ago, you used a conspiracy theorist, like you said it was real, but now the whole nation's about to get these new IDs. Damn. I think that's next year, next year everyone has to have it. So the smart ID, is that what it's called? It's something like a smart ID, right. Yeah. Well, all it is is the, the fuck ID. Yeah. What they're doing when you go get that motherfucker, when you got, they take your picture, for the ID, that picture ain't just for the ID. It's for, it's, it's for that um that face recognition technology. Yeah. That's what it is. You go to the ID place, you look at the camera, it's all new yeah. shit. You do all kinds of stuff. It's for, face it. for that facial recognition. Mm -hmm. I'll take that one, bro. Ah, she probably got some bank too. Man, this devil on a mission, man. This devil making things happen. He knows that he has but a short time. Who is in the scripture that knows he has but a short time? That's these devils. The saint, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the way she was looking at it, she's like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Oh god. You see what I'm saying, man? I'm people are that's, out of that's the fucking voodoo man. Right, right, right. You gonna sacrifice Ooh, your chicken. Man. This devil making shit move. He making shit happen, man. He's making shit happen. Um, let me see if I got more of that in here. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall fight thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. That's Booty. beautiful. This manly nation, this man nation is full of steroids and 
<laughs> yeah, full of estrogen now. Right. This manly ass nation. Right. Because they, they're trying to outlaw masculinity. You know what I mean? They're not going to be happy until everybody turns into a train. I just seen an article in the news uh, yesterday. There's a, by, I think it was Channel 4 put it out. And they was talking about how men with beards are dirty and they have all kind of bacteria in your beard. You said more dirty than the dog's fur. Yeah, more dirty. Yeah, you seen that, right? More than dirty. That's that bullshit, bro. People say that about the bitches that can have multiple uh, sex parties. People say that about that. But they have long hair. I mean, yeah. that doesn't make sense. That's just some bullshit. They don't say nothing about it either. When that pussy smelling like great straight fish, man, they don't they don't say nothing about it. Like you gonna try to get a job and if you, you try to get a job, they gonna be like, you, can you cut your beard off? That's some bull. They, I try to do. I try to get me a little uh, side job. Just the bulls. You know some bullshit. Just gonna have a little fun or something. He's like, oh, you need to trim that beard down. I told him that. I was, I was like, bro, that sounds like discrimination to me. But how come it's discrimination? Yeah. Except unless you're a man. There is no such thing as discrimination if you're a manly man. You know? What do they say about these bitches? They got beards though. Well, some of them do, man. She's, she's, a, she's a strong woman. <laughs> or whatever her pronoun is. I don't know what it is. It's fucking madness, man. You get tired of this shit. Uh-oh. Here you go. The girl you know. got the boo-boo mask that got broke. I wish we could crack this fucking skull I would not fucking help. I don't want to act like She said she's going to hit some butt. Oh, wow. How you doing over there? What up? What up? Oh, I thought you were going to say that. But they ain't sitting there by a dress up there, you think? Yeah, you can't have dress, though. You can't have a beard. Here's the type of masculinity. It says in the book, in the Bible dictionary here, before beard, it says a badge of manly dignity. Yeah, a beard's a badge of manly dignity. Or, as a sign of mourning, it was the custom to pluck it out or cut it off. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beards. That means going to the barber and letting that nigga shit on edge you up. Yeah. I mean, not everybody can grow a beard either, though, but if you can grow a beard, grow your beard out. You know what I mean? Right. Look at this, man. That's, <laughs> that's crazy, though. That's crazy. Not everybody can do it all the way like that. You right, know? right. God damn, I still gotta keep this sloppy and ugly shit though. I wasn't able to grow beard, so I was like 30. You know? Yeah, anything anything that's masculine though, they're trying to get rid of it. But they acting like, you know, being being a man is like uh, some kind of uh it's a, it's a mental illness to be masculine. Cancer? They're trying to treat it as a cancer. They, oh, like toxic masculinity. Yeah, toxic toxic masculinity. That's some bullshit, man. That's why you got all these weirdos out now. You got all, now all the young men running around goddamn wearing skinny jeans, got purple hair. You know what I mean? Gay as hell. Men. Men. Well, talk about the men. And then they get mad. This is confusion now. You can see why this is called Babylon. Right. Because Babylon means confusion. Yep. 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 It says the Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. Probably because it was regarded as a heathenistic song. I have to agree. <laughs> That's something they added. Hey, the Edomites were famous for shaving their beards. Hey, the Romans uh, were Edomites, and they made all the uh, all the people in the army and all that, the legions, they all had to shave their beards off. Just like today, while well, I was in the Marine Corps. When we was in the Marine Corps, you had to shave your beard. And if, if you went one day without shaving, you can get in trouble. You get uh, but they put uh, they put you on restriction. If you have multiple violations, you could actually go to the brig over a beard. I mean, if you like was a repeat offender, didn't want to listen. Look at Iran's army. They do look so like rough motherfuckers, man. They look like they mean business, man. Because of them beards. <laughs> and they, the excuse they gave us in the Marine Corps is like, oh, you can't have beards because uh, the gas mask won't fit properly. You're some dumb shit. You know, that's some bullshit. It's, 
Because that goes back to the, the tradition of the ancient Romans. Because America's Rome reincarnated. Hey, you look at uh, the ancient, I uh, said ancient, that is ancient, ancient means old, right? But the Civil War pictures, go look at some pictures from the Civil War. Look at all them generals. They got beers down to the damn stomach. You know what I mean? And they look like some gangsters, you know? Uh, Neom, Neom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nehu? Nehu. 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 Everybody Nehu. talk to everyone. Nehu. Uh, 3 and uh, we start at uh, 12. It says, All thy strongholds shall be like fig trees with the, uh, with the first sorry, with the first ripe figs. If they be shaken, they shall eat and fall even into the mouth of the eater. Lo, thy people in the midst of thee are women. The gates. See, look, if he said if he said something like that, like oh, y'all acting like women, they would make they would uh, they would bash us. That's hate speech. Lord, that's how I'm going to talk. He said y'all like women. You know what I'm saying? Let, how about you let men be men and women be women? How about that? Really can't figure out. Like he still been three weeks to figure out. Well, back in the day, you get a circuit, a, a job in the circus for that. And now it's so common. You know what I mean? You know, the bearded lady used to be for uh, attraction in the circus. You know what I mean? But now, I mean, it's not a rarity no more. <laughs> and they still do circuses? Yeah, yeah. they still do. They, they still do the black one, too. The black and the white. Shit, I'm going to run off and be a carny. <laughs> I found that in the second center. They shaved off half of Pope Davis. All says. Half his beard. It says on um, second center 10 and 3 in the Prince of the children of Hammond said unto Hammond, the, their Lord, Thinkest thou that David doth honor thy father, that he has sent confidence unto thee? Have not David rather sent his servant unto thee to search the city? And to spy it out and to throw it. Wherefore, Hannah took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards, making them from the ground to come. They cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. Damn, they showed their ass cheeks were showing. That's what some of the heathen would do. Yeah, some faggot shit. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Terry, that Jericho until the appears to be grown and then return. Yeah, so King David, he, he he won't even let the men come out, come out in public until their beards grew back, because that was a dishonor, you know? Right. And they really was dishonor because really they should have fought to the death to, to maintain, you know. Probably should have. You know, let them devour their beard and put their beard. Just like the brothers that was murdered, that died in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, that wouldn't eat pork. Yep. And them men didn't represent properly. They should have went out like soldiers. You know? But they were some they was just messengers though. They probably just subdued them, tied them up. There was some Ammonites. When when that Ammonites? That's some bullshit though, man. Everywhere you go, people got, oh, look, they got a beard. Oh, who are you, Santa Claus? Oh, it's fucking great jokes, you know? If you shaving every day, I used to shave back in back when I was in the world. They my neck be all bloody. You get all them sores. It's just it ain't feel good. Why would you want your, want your fucking neck, neck to bleed every day? Yeah, if they take a razor to the head. And then they wonder, then they had to break out all them bumps. You ever see somebody's head break out? They yeah, yeah. I used to see it back here, but. Yeah, yeah oh, that's nasty. Man. They got to get that special bumps. cream. My brother got a bump from the Yeah, the shaving bumps. Yeah. 
<laughs> I tell you that shit ain't right, man. Jeremiah Bush wanted to win too. How long would that go back on that back sliding daughter? See how uh shit sliding. Actually we're picking up. Alright, uh back to 3122 says for Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. A woman shall compass a man. Hey, you see that right now. That's why in the churches you got women pastors, which is against the scripture. You look at the uh the government, you got women mayors. You got transsexual, uh, wasn't there a transsexual governor just elected or something? They got transsexual mayors, they got women, governors. The Speaker of the House is goddamn Nancy Pelosi. She's the third in command in the country. And they've been trying their hardest for the past, what, few election cycles to get a woman in there as a president. So they're going to get a woman in there sooner or later. Yeah, hey Trump, hey, Trump made a speech. I made a text you about it, man. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but with Trump was, uh, after that Milk Mueller report thing came out, he was doing an interview, and he said, uh, and he was talking about his presidency. He was talking about in the next 10, 14 years. He was saying he was going to be president for another 14 years. <laughs> he he, he going to do something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're praying on it. Pray on it. Hey, he should, man. That four, uh, well, four year limit, that's some bullshit. This one, that, that itself would call some I don't think Trump be afraid to crack some of these heads over here, though. He sent out, he sent out the National Guard on the mask. Right. Yeah, that would call the Civil War. If that happened, though, that'd be just like Rome, because Rome started off with, uh, without emperors, right? Well, they started with kings, then they got, they got sick of kings. They didn't like, uh, uh, you know, absolute power. So then they went to the Senate. Started the republic. It, that was a republic. Then eventually, they did, they just went to the to the, the Roman Empire with the first Caesar, Caesar Augustus. And he ruled, he was a, he has a monarch with absolute power. That's what you're supposed to have though, you know what I mean? How you, how you supposed to get anything done if you on a four year limit? You ain't gonna get shit done. If you back in the old empire, look at the Byzantine Empire, lasted a thousand years. Thousand years. A thousand. You think about that, and it was ruled by monarchs. You know, Israelites, it was ruled by Israelites. Who it, it, they ruled. When they became the emperor, they ruled for their whole life. And when they died, their son took over. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, they doing it. They, they say, oh, he's a dictator. They make it like a dictator is a bad thing. What? Saudi Arabia, sir. Yeah, they got royal family. Hey, actually, that's part of the Freemasons. When you look at the, uh, Adam Weishaupt created the Freemasons, what, 1776? I said not the Freemasons, excuse me, the Illuminati, which are Freemasons. It's a branch of Freemasonry. But one of the goals of the Illuminati, they stated, openly state, that one of their goals is to get rid of all monarchies on the earth. They, they want to bring in democracies. They want to get rid of all monarchs. They hate, Freemasons hate monarchs. They hate them. That's why they always say, oh, we got to go bring democracy to this country. That's that Freemason, the secret society is doing that shit. Huh? Yeah, they drinking that wine. The ruin of the people, the last thing you fucking want. Man, it still ain't the people ruin. They, I mean, people ain't ruin shit. People ain't controlling nothing. Exactly. But they, they afraid of that absolute, uh, uh, that monarch boy, that absolute power. They start putting all these motherfuckers to death. Cuba was an example of Castro, bro. They hated Castro. Right, right. But they say he did good for his people. Yeah. Wait a minute, I think Venezuela was in that country. Pretty much, yeah. I think Maduro came in. Chavez, yeah. Yeah. Chavez was a, uh, they called him a, a ruthless dictator. <laughs> Saddam Hussein, oh, ruthless dictator is an evil man. He probably was evil. I mean, a lot of these dudes are pieces of shit. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they fucking... 
I still rather have that than a fucking democracy. A fucking woman. A fucking woman. A woman. It was like, look at England. Look at England, sorry. The longest reign of monarch in English history is a woman. Hag just turned 93 too. What's up, bro? I recognize you. We out here teaching. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go with you. Man, having our uh, third uh, open house, man. You know, I, I want your realtor to sell the house, you know what I mean, instead of me. I'm just getting paid for it. I just want to, you know what I mean, get up that west side, man. What's like this about? West side? Nah, that west side. That, crazy. That, that daggone central, man. I had my gun license for two years. I will only carry it just to fucking match my outfit. I never thought that I would have to ever use my weapon. Yeah. Because I would only have like 14 rounds. That's got for shit. I'm not gonna need it for anything. I'm gonna fucking run it. Motherfucker tried to kick in the door two weeks before Christmas. Shut the fuck and I'll up. never forget the like what had went through my mind. Right. You know what I mean? Like you saw workers over there for like a whole two months. You know, so it was like three months anybody you know what I mean? Keep the door in and I let off the whole uh, uh, 14 rounds. You know what I mean? Like, that didn't make me feel like, I didn't feel powerful. Man. I felt like anything could have happened. What if you would have shot back? You know what I mean? And guess yeah. what? My dumb ass only had 14 rounds and I shot all 14. We would have came for me, bro. Like, yeah. shit, like I'm, not, I'm not built for that kind of shit. Man. I'm a businessman. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, hey, wait till they about to pass real. that law. The new governor, uh, Dewan, yeah, he's about to make a concealed carry legal for everybody. I bet this, this, which, which, what's the name? No, but this, this in here. Yeah, I ain't never carrying no weapon. This in here is a club. Fucking around the track. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, it's a manly thing to carry a fucking sword and shit. Yeah, yeah. But even then, I'm. I'm because like, if you ask them for trouble, man. Definitely. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's yeah. this? What's this? Because oh, the thing was, even if you got a permit, these fucking cops, bro, they see, oh, he's got a gun, he's got, they, no question, they just shoot you. Well, me, my thing is this, I mean, I tell people things, because me, I was raised by, I watch you, I hit the camera. Oh, my bad. Oh, you good. I was raised by country folks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like, I went to Western Florida North, so it was like, I came across little, the North? That was the football team and the wrestling team. That's the, that's the, uh, the rich one. Yeah. The rich team. My, well, my parents were rich. They were farmers, you know? Right yeah, you know what okay. I mean? My mom died on a five. I was I was at Rosemont, a group home in Britain right. for two years. I was outside playing, bad as hell. Yeah. White folks were like, hey, you want the boy right there with the pretty eyes? So I was like, he bad as hell. They was like, so? <laughs> he bad as hell. And they raised me, man. For real? Like, yeah, man. Yeah, cool and they raised hell. me, man. Uh, uh, Baltimore County. I'm, I think I was the only black face out there. Yep. You know what I mean? So it was like, I know how to deal with that shit, man. That's why my parents told me to carry a shotgun. Because a handgun is more than say, oh, hey, you reach it. But a shotgun, you know what I mean? It's in the back of the trunk. What, what am I reaching for? Right. And then they told me to get it from Arizona, and they were my tag, but they don't know. Now, now my shit was with was, was Ohio. I don't think over the last two years. Right. For real. You know what I mean? But that Arizona, they protect you too. But also, I'm a part of the NRA. That's what I tell people. This my guy, you know what I mean? The NRA, that's so the I tell every, political organization in America. So yeah. I tell every young black man, if you if you if, you, if you carrying a gun license, be a member of the fucking NRA because they protect you. They're gonna get you a lawyer. You wanna you call for that team? Huh? You you yeah, pay yeah. Yeah. Pay dues. I'm paying what? Like Eddie a month? Yeah. I'm paying Eddie a month. Damn. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, something happened, bro. I'm good. That's bail? Like they, they get you out of bail. Who's they, the hit? All you I see? They get you. They, 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 they got the bail. I know, I know. They got the I bail. Know. I mean, they pay for your lawyer. Yeah, the lawyer. They do all, all that. that, bro. What the hell yeah? Yeah, if you get some serious yeah, shit. Bro. If you get some shit, go no, down. No, anything. Me, see, the 50 a month, that's the basic. The 80 a month, that means any kind of. Let's say they put me over. I'm right. calling, hey man, they put me over. Okay, let me touch the officer. Right. Yeah, right. bro, it's serious like that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because I know how dangerous it is. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You never know who you coming across. You know? Yeah. I ain't never, man, I ain't walk around strapped in my life. Never, never have, man. I do, man. Always had a couple of yeah, yeah, yeah. They passed that daggone standing ground law. At first I used to walk around with a 40, but since they daggone passed that, 40. Yeah. 
And since they passed that daggone state ground law, I carry a 12 gauge. Oh, that's, right, a, that's another Fuck new that. law, ain't it? Yeah. That's the most dangerous they, they, law. About, I forgot about that. You heard that. about that shit in Florida? They got that, All those stories in Florida? They got that here oh, now. Yeah. Stay in your law. That's oh, not so that's, it. that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Just, just trick on Martin. Like, we had, we was out here teaching a couple weeks ago, and this dude came up here with a gun. You know what I mean? Like, provoking. Like, what you mean? He was like, Actually, he's like, oh, you want to do it on camera? You know what I mean? You bullshit. That yeah. shit happened a lot, though. Yeah. Like, what you mean? He just came up with it. Just came up talking shit. See, that's why I can't be out here with y'all, man. <laughs> because see, the see, thing he is let, that I know him, so based off of that, that get me involved. That's why I can't be out here like that. Oh, no, it's good, but that's why I said we spiritual, though. So we put but our they faith know better the than high. that, man. Uh-oh. It's serious out here, man. Let's go, let's go. Y'all out here supposed to be teaching. Y'all looking at little, little young chicks. Being walking by. That's the spirit. We're being mean. Hey, it's, it's, it's a manly spirit. Right it's a manly spirit. It's a manly spirit. Hey, the Lord said. this blind out. What did the Lord say? Uh, what did he, what he tell? He said uh, the real huh? man is the earth, right? Be say, fruitful. Say that, now, now, there's nothing wrong with like looking at a woman like, oh, she a beautiful woman. Because some Joe people. Because they did the scriptures that say you can't be attracted to a woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, because you know in the scriptures, you know how the, uh, like the patriarchs, David, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all of them, they all had a lot of women. You know what I mean? Yeah. King Solomon had a thousand wives. Right. He supposed to. Listen, you know check out why the, the scriptures say the Lord is a man of war. You see, during war, after we killed the enemy, man, we took their wives. Take the women. We took their daughters. That's where you get the word booty. You ever we hear booty? Well, we made them, let them mourn for like a month, a month, and then after that month is over, we went on a, on a rampage. <laughs> you know, open them legs, baby. They were happy anyway. Yeah. You know, all the even the other heathen nations, they were happy to open their legs to us, man. Yep. Just like now, you know. This one, we the flies motherfuckers on this planet. Everybody wouldn't be like us. <laughs> Everybody wouldn't be like us, you know? You know? Shit, the, the, the Edomite divorce rate is because of us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, no. The life of committing adultery with that nigga, she go to the gym, she said the gym. Yeah. You know, baby, go, go home to the hug. I, baby, uh -huh. we can live together and, you know. No, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Adulterous, glorified. That's why I ain't got no kids, Adulterous man. generation. That's why I ain't got no kids, man. I don't want no kids. I got to have my kids. I ain't got no kids out here. Fuck that. Well, this is dangerous no for kids. Exactly. Oh, these women, they get, you That's get. That's not the one. Well, you, you get a Judite woman, you can get her pregnant. My thing is this, though. I got this thing on... Yeah. So it's called... Uh, she does. They do that. That's uh, 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 I'm thinking that's how I got this. Oh, shit. It was called... Uh, this uh, app I got. And it was this... A three-year-old little girl. Black little girl. She goes to the park. And there's this... What? One little girl said, We can't play with you because you have... You don't have blonde hair. Right. Now, what? for me to be a parent and my daughter is three, she will probably handle that better than me. That's why I can't have kids. That's true, though. <laughs> for real, bro. What the what? Where they at? Where Lonely's at? <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> Where mom at? <laughs> he can't play because they have. Hey, G. He ain't messing around, is he? You know the scripture? Those things go that fast, guys? Look at this one over here, bro. Oh, man, Columbus is walling out, bitch. I'm trying to tell you, man. You can't hide from this city, man. Yeah. Niggas is ruthless out here. You can't get nobody nothing. You got the country boys, and then, and then you got us. Yeah. Bro, you know what I mean? Right, the, right. The, the country boys, they ruthless. We ruthless, too. Yeah. What about that scooter? One of them niggas did it. One of the country boys did it, They was probably, they probably doing stunts and tricks on us. Yeah, y'all. You know what I mean? Right off of this. Grinding right off of that, yeah. y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I want a little suburb kid, y'all. Y'all already right know. Looked like he was surfing, though. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was doing what? 25, nigga? Yeah, easily. Yeah, because so with the car beside him kept up with him. He was doing like 25. Oh, I'm like, where did he come from? <laughs> did he go that fast? He's zipping by. You got to have a problem with you, boy, on that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tried, he tried to catch you. You better not get hit. <laughs> Shot far, what happened? He got a scooter. He couldn't catch you. Yeah, that, that's serious. You don't want that. What? What? What's on up, those scooters? With no scooters? What? What? He about reading script. He about he got scripted up. We we'll read script. We out here reading script. But you at? He asked what we doing out here. Yeah. yeah. Doing yeah. the Lord's work, man. Yeah, we out here doing the work. Right. We're they, paving the way for the Lord. You know, before the Lord comes, we gotta pave the way, let the people know He's coming. Yep. Yeah. Y'all know about this Drunk at the Beast? That microchip. Where's that gonna be coming? 
It's, it's already it's here. Already. As you see, we just talking about this earlier. Uh, we don't need it though, do we? Because, nah, you don't want to take that. Because look, when you go to the store, almost everybody paying with a, a credit card now or a card. But some, yeah, but somebody said that that's going to be, when you get surgery, that's how they're going to try to try to like put it in too. Right? Well, they doing a lot of people like that. Yeah, they do that. Them. They yeah. do, yeah. Right. That's another thing. You want to stay out of them hospitals, man. Yeah. yeah. They just killed my dad uh, about, what, about a couple months ago. I'm sorry to hear that, man. For real. No, for real. It's like, what did he die from? He just had a bunch of problems, but that every time he went to the time. hospital, he got worse. Every time. They, right. they, he went in there, they gave him the wrong medication, gave him a heart attack. You know what I mean? So these hospitals are not safe. They trying to, they trying to, they trying to maintain the population, man. Damn, what's wrong? They, like nothing. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it's sad. It's the, be, the best way to avoid a hospital is to take care of yourself, eat right. Yeah. You know, drink your water. See what that and, is. And I'll drink nothing but water, y'all. Yep. No, oh, oh, and work out. Yeah, you I work get, out six, you gotta stay six times a week, buddy. Because yeah. most of these people, they yeah. always sick in the hospital. They ain't they, working out. They on the couch every day. Chilling. Eat. I gotta go on four days a week. Dog on your lap. My body gotta rest. I've been riding a bike every day. My body gotta rest. <laughs> oh, yeah. We get like first time you want. Hey, this is probably one get a scripture. He's been done. Hold up. Here, get a scripture. Come back special. All right, you good. Hey, hey. I can see you, man. I might try to come by tomorrow. If not, probably nah, phone. We, we out here on Monday. We got to no. come out here on Monday. Well, we'll see you. I'll see you around. Come in? Yeah. I'm talking about the uh, church. Yeah. Oh, I must start uh, coming on Sunday. I don't go there. No. Now he be, he be at a meal. Nah. That's what I be talking about, man. They be doing stupid shit, bro. That's, That's what I be talking about, man. That's why I keep me a car, bro. They stupid. You see I, me walking up, you're supposed to stop right here. I, I mean, what, what number is that? That's probably because you're talking about us. I don't give a fuck, That's man. I don't give a fuck, us. man. Oh, yeah. Making too much. You, so you're making 30 something an hour, do your fucking job, man. Yeah, right. Shit. I've been right. I've been seeing them leave people left and right. Stupid oh. shit, bro. Hey, this brother been dying to get this scripture done. Let's, let's get this yeah, scripture. Man. I'm out of here, though, y'all. All right, brother. Nah, I don't get to be talking. That's all right, just. They don't know. I think we get there first. Let me kill it. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take a minute. You're uh, walling out, Cole. Uh, Matthew, and uh, 19 says, it says, in woe to them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Oh, I think, yeah, referencing about having children. Yeah, because actually, we about to get into that time, you don't really want no little young baby. It's about to get crazy out here. You know what it's I mean? Gonna get away from you ain't seen shit yet. Yeah. Yeah. When his economic system collapses. And then Trump, they're talking about impeaching him. Why don't you hurry up and do it? Because guess what? He's gonna have Russia and China against us. They already against them. Them. I'm trying to tell you. Russia gonna shoot missiles on America. They're gonna be taking our women. I'm trying to tell you, you better get real. I'm telling you. Yeah. No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, where the missile sign? Where the missile sign? Whoa, baby, you bust that missile sign. That, that's what's coming. Man, it's coming. Hey, here go Russian. The missiles are coming over here. Wow, over here. that's fucking scary, bro. But that's what the force is. Wow. And, 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 what I say? Russia and China. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Russia is going to be coming. It's bust, man. All right, brother. The Lord's bringing fire. That's the thing, man. He said that's too big. Lord's bringing fire. What, what, what did you just read up? Uh, oh, welcome to them that get sucked in that day. Hey. Right. All right, man. Yeah, uh, because we seen him in the mill. You spent, did you talk to him before? Yeah, fam. Because I remember one day, I was, I said we was at that mill, and uh, I was telling him about the beard thing. That's funny, we was just talking about the beard. And that's how he knows me, because one day, I told him about the beard. That's like, going back to the beard, I, I, I said a thing, like, you see a male lion. A male lion has a beard, right? Well, how, how stupid would a male lion look without a beard? Oh, I told him something else, too. like a female. Because we got a name for people without beards. You know what they call, right? They call women. Yeah, women and, ch yeah, women and children. Exactly. That's true, that, That's what you call people without beards. Sodomites. Not a lot of side of my tractor beer now. You got training some beer. Uh, this is the only beer. It's older beer. That's the only side of the beer. Because remember when you was young, though, you'd be happy.
happy you're getting a little hairs on there. Yeah. Like, oh, I got some fuzz. <laughs> yeah. That's a sign of manhood. Here around your balls. <laughs> you be checking too, like, oh. I was like wondering, like, whoa, what the fuck going on? I ain't want no hair. <laughs> What's up, bro? All right. You got more than that? Yeah. What did you just think about? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you might as well go back there and match me. And read some more of that. You know, the boys, women, the boys, all that. You're supposed to be hairy like that. And the king of women will be hairy like that. What's that? That's some moisture. Yeah, that's a yeah. This is a help. Uh, that's some moisture. That's natural sanitation. Woo. Everything got a purpose. Yep. But actually, <laughs> but women shape their legs. Really, they shouldn't do that. Cause they, they gotta have some kind of purpose, yeah, right? Exactly. Cause you think about it, they shaving their legs all the time. They do this. They legs be bleeding. That can't be good for your skin. Yeah. yeah, I like my women with hairy legs. Somebody gonna, <laughs> somebody gonna take that video, bro. <laughs> I did. I, some, I've seen women. It was actually kind of cute, but not majority gang. Yeah, looking like Sorry. Captain Caveman. I actually seen some women that was actually cute. You know, some hairy ass women, hairy arms. And shit. Yeah, I'm not even I'm that talking, hairy. I ain't talking about no white woman. I'm talking about sisters. I'm not even that. I had hairy legs. I ain't on that hairy. Not really. I seen. Look like. Hey, the scripture said, what's his name was Harry? Uh, Elijah. Yeah, I said that. Was yeah, it Elijah? Elijah? Yeah, Elijah was Harry. He was a hairy man. Hello, guys. Hello. What's up, homie? Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ring his bell? I'm stupid. Who rock? Who do that, man? <laughs> ding, ding. Was it an ice cream man? So the ice cream man costs like $3 or something up there. I bought one thing. Three dollars or something. It was like this big. Can't even afford that shit no more. Now I'll never do that again. And they be playing that same song over and over. Kind of like that shit creepy. I was trying to get some cardio in. I was dropping dead. I had to get some. I was like Samson after the Philistines battle, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Uh, this is uh, back to Matthew 24. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a little bit down. So and I'm gonna go back up. She's looking at you. I yeah, she's I don't know. She's she, she out there. She's spaced out. That's what you want. Go get yeah, her. Yeah, that is what you want. You're right. That's what you want. <laughs> Got her. The, the less intelligent, the better. Yeah, that's right. This is uh, back to Matthew 24. It says, 20 says, But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, be do on the Sabbath day. For there shall, it's like, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Yo. Yeah, because. That great tribulation is coming. Like what we just talking about, it's gonna be an economic cut down. The whole society is gonna collapse. It's gonna be like damn, like uh, a, a post-apocalyptic movie out here. You know what I mean? They're gonna be worse than a walking dead. Oh, they're gonna have actual zombies. You see, uh, uh, <laughs> that sounds crazy. They, uh, they just uh, brought pigs back to life and they reanimated pigs. Did you see that? No. It was just in the news. I think it was, I, I seen a linked on drugs report. Just so somebody can slaughter me. Pigs, pigs. But they gonna have all kind of wild viruses that gonna make people pretty much like zombies. Black plague, that black plague, they got the black, I've seen the video. I had this one documentary, I forget what it was. But they, they actually dug up the black death, you know, from a, a burial pit in Europe. And they extracted a virus out of dead bodies. Yeah. And they got they got that shit on file. Yeah. They gonna release it any moment. This shit, all the all the uh uh what's it called? Uh shows movies they always show that the government uh, did that shit to uh, release the virus. Yeah. They showed you that. In the Walking Dead they showed that it was the C D C that did it. Yeah. The center of the disease and control. The video game Resident Evil. Yeah, oh, that's a bad shit. Video game Resident Evil. That is bad. That's a bad shit. The best one, you gotta play. You play, uh. My favorite one was, uh, Code Veronica. Mine was the original. They're, that's the best. I'm talking about the story. But in Code Veronica, right, right, right. they show you the two little Edomites, but how they grow up. 
And they pretty much go in that ha They don't call them Edomites, but they pretty much show you that Esau is a sick, twisted, demented fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first one is the best one. Yeah, it's bad, man. It's some bad shit. The game, uh, it's like, it's like a movie Z Nation. That shit is hard. That shit is crazy. Like, it's complete chaos, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Play, what for, what for, what system? For both. For both? Oh, they do release them for both? Every game? Yeah. Systems don't even matter no more. I know, like, certain games, like, I know, like, Halo, that's just what it's about. Yeah, they got some, they got some exclusive. It says back to the middle of the 20th, verse 21. It says, Let me read this whole For then shall be great tribulation, such as will not since the beginning of the world, until the time no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, which shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yo, the days will be shortened. Hey, that's why you know this too. Time go by quick as a motherfucker. Made it. It's 2019.